Hi, my name is Yasin Zerwal. Welcome to my channel, IT Professional. This video is for link server roles, which is the second video from the series that will cover the exam 70-336 Core Solutions of Microsoft Link Server 2013. As you know, there is a lot of uh, server roles, front-end server, back-end server, director, persistent chat, ba uh, and, uh, back-end, persistent chat, persistent chat compliance, edge server, mediation server. Starting from the front-end server, which is the core server role, it provides the connection point for the client and it is responsible for all registration via the registrar service and routing requests for clients. We can deploy up to 12 front-end servers into a single pool. I want to define the pool, which is a group of servers that are in the same role and they have identical configuration. And that's where we have the failover and high availability. And those servers in the pool can serve clients simultaneously. For example, uh, if we have a pool that contains, for example, if we have uh, two pools or more and the uh, pool number one goes down no problem pool number two contains all the data that was on pool one and that's because of pool pairing here we have the front end server which is in a pool that contains three servers of front end For the backend server, which is uh, backend servers, are database servers running Microsoft SQL Server that provide the database services for the front end pool. The backend server serve as backup stores for the pool's user and conference data, and are the primary stores for other databases such as the response group database. The central management store is also stored in the backend role. Here we have a pool that contains two servers. We can have a single backend server, but uh, to have the failover, we can use the SQL server mirroring. We can use also the SQL Server Mirroring Witness to enable automatic failover. For the Edge Server, it enables your users to communicate and collaborate with users outside the organization's firewalls. These external users can include the organization's own users who are currently working off-site users from federated partner organizations, uh, outside users who have been invited to join conferences hosted on your link server deployment. Edge server also enables connectivity to public instant messaging connectivity services including Windows Live, American Online, Yahoo and Google Talk. Edge role is deployed within the DMZ or perimeter network and provides remote capability to link server 2013 here we have the link server which is between two firewalls that's why we call this area as a dmz demilitarized zone again uh, now we are talking about the director server directors can authenticate in server user request and it is recommended when you are deploying in edge server because it offers an additional layer of security in deployments that enable external user access the director can uh, the director can authenticate requests before sending them on to internal servers in the case of denial of service or in the case of uh, denial of service attack the attack ends with the director and does not reach the front-end server it reach here the attack up to the director and will not reach the front-end server 
high availability of the director role is provided by deploying multiple servers and using DNS with their hardware DNS hardware or load balancing for the mediation server which is necessary component for implementing enterprise voice and the, deny, uh, and the dialing conferencing mediation server translates signaling and in some configurations media between your internal link server infrastructure and the public switch telephone network PST and gateway IPPFX or session initiation uh, protocol SIP trying you can run a mediation server co-located on the same server as the, as the front-end server or separated into a standalone mediation server pool here we have all the kind of connection whether you use the IPPFX or media gateway or using the SIP trying for the persistent chat server roles persistent chat enables users to participate in multi-party topic based conversations that persist over time persistent chat front-end server runs the persistent chat service persistent chat back-end server stores the chat history data and information about categories and chat rooms persistent chat compliance back-end server can store the chat the chat content and compliance events for the purpose of compliance for the server running link server standard edition can also run persistent chat co-located on the same server which is the front-end server as you know you cannot co-locate the persistent chat front-end server with enterprise edition front-end server Here we are going to talk in detail about the Link Server Standard Edition, which is designed for small companies and it is designed to support up to 2,500 users on its single server. As you know, it combines both the front end and back end roles into a single package or box. We have a back end role which is stored the, within the SQL Express database. In standard edition, we have only one server per pool, and the link server standard edition does not provide high availability solution because it's only one server. It enables you to use the instant messaging, conferencing, presence, and enterprise voice all running in one server. I hope this is informative for you, and we would like to thank you very much for watching.